Hello everybody, Dr. Curtis here, and today we're going to cover abdominal wall breathing or three-dimensional breathing. Uh, if you've been through some rehabilitation with me, we've likely covered this topic uh, quite in depth. It's fairly important, so let's go and take a look. So we're going to take the pads of our fingers, we're going to put them on our lower abdominal wall. So as we place them there, as we take a breath in, we're going to feel the muscles in our lower abdominal wall push out onto our fingers. So I'm going to inhale. And I should feel my lower abdominal wall push out. So if this is my lower abdominal wall, it's gonna be pushing out gently into my finger pads. So again, finger pads going lower abdominal wall. I take a breath in, and I feel the muscles of the lower abdominal wall push out into my fingers. So the second part, we're gonna make our hands like a U shape. They're gonna go on the lower portion of my rib cage. I'm gonna put some gentle pressure inward, and as I breathe in, I should feel my rib cage go laterally out into my fingers or out into my hands. So I take a breath in and I should feel the rib cage expand laterally. So for the last part, we're going to same position. We're going to drop down a little bit and then the thumbs are going to come around to my back. So I'm going to drop down and my thumbs are going to come just like that. So now the thumb pads are on the muscles of my back. As I take a breath in, I should feel the muscles in my back expand into my thumb pads. So let's go and review. So taking my finger pads, I go on the lower portion of the abdominal wall in the front. I take a breath in, just like that, and I feel the muscles of my lower abdominal wall push out into my finger pads. Second part, hands like a U. I'll go in the lower rib cage as I take a breath in. I should feel my rib cage expand laterally. And the last part, my hands come down. Thumb pads go to the muscles in the back. As I take a breath in, I should feel the muscles in the back expand out into my thumbs. So that's what we call either three-dimensional breathing, abdominal wall breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. One cue that I like to give some of you guys is to imagine you have a balloon inside your stomach. And the balloon, as you inhale, you're going to blow the balloon up. It's going to expand in all directions equally. So again, just to review, finger pads on the lower abdominal wall, hands like a U on the lower rib cage, and then we bring them down. Thumb pads go to the back, and again, we're gonna feel the back muscles expand out into the thumb pads. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm more than happy to respond to you or give a call to the office. I'm more than happy to go over this with you in person. Thanks a lot.